You make my life so beautiful. And as you are, you've made me here on earth. There's nothing greater than this. That's why I love you forevermore. You make our lives so beautiful. And as you are, you've made us here on earth. There's nothing greater than this. That's why we love you forevermore. And we want more of you. We want more of you, Jesus. The more we know you, the more we want to know you, Jesus. More of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is so awesome. I tell you, he's so great. He's so great. Hallelujah. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Food for Thought. Today's topic is going to be simply desiring more of him. Desiring more of him. Amen. Well, as usual, as the days go by, as you know, time is ticking and ticking and ticking away and we're going through these unique seasons in our lives, especially with the unique, you know, the interesting times we're in now, you can't help but wonder, Lord, what is it that you want from me that I'm not executing? What is it that you want from me that I'm not surrendering onto you? What is it that you desire, that you put inside of me before I was formed in my mother's womb that I have not yet manifested? And these are the questions that have been running through my mind lately. And I've been wondering, you know what? This is such a unique time and this is more than ever before. We need to tap into what it is that God wants us to do. You know, as as people who aspire to do great things in life, you might find yourself in an awesome remote job in 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 an awesome field where you always dreamed of being in with a family that's thriving and all just seems to be going well. And then you tend to, you know, I've noticed that with with all that's going on, it's it's very easy to lose track of what it is that God wants us to do in this season, in this particular season. And my prayer has been, Lord, help me to understand what it is that I need to be doing for you and help help us as the body of Christ to understand our reason for existence as the arms, as his legs, as his feet as the different parts of the body of Christ help us to understand our purpose and help us to yearn for more that we may fulfill the purpose for which we're living. And this has just simply been my prayer today. Um, So more than ever before, there's been just this push to do more, this push to to be more, not just on the outside, but on the inside, on the inside, on the inside, hallelujah. So I just want to throw this out there and encourage somebody and say, be more, be more. The the earth is groaning in anticipation of the manifestation 
of the awesome things that God can do inside of our lives. The earth is growing, groaning, awaiting the manifestation of the sons of God. If we only realize that the, 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 the depth of what God has imputed on the inside of us, we would run with it. We would run with it. But I, I encourage you today, see what it is that the Lord God Almighty has put on the inside of you that you can use to be a blessing to this world, to generations to come, that your generation and your life alone cannot may not be able to fulfill, that your children's 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 children may need to take up. See what it is. Meet somebody's need today. Be a blessing in ways that, that, that you've always wanted to be. Step out there and do more and be more. And allow the Lord God Almighty to use you and to speak to you and allow you to know what it is that he'll have you do in this season. Because I guarantee you, there's so much to be done. The harvest is ripe. But the laborers are few, so few. We're so consumed with ourselves. We're so consumed with that which is, is going on in the, in the world today and, and the news and, and everything else but his will for our lives. So let us tap into that which the Lord God Almighty has for us. I declare in Jesus' name that you will be a light. You will continue to be a light. Remember, we're light. Set up on a hill whose light cannot be hid. You'll continue to be a light. You will desire more from the Lord God Almighty. And he will fulfill your life in beautiful ways and help you to accomplish that which he has put on your heart, that which he has put on the inside of you that is so beautiful and will that, that which will emanate from the inside of you to the world at large to those around you, to those in your home, to your family members, to those who surround you at work, wherever you may go, wherever you may be. I declare that your life will be a blessing today, that you will not be um, a tinkling symbol, that you will be a mouthpiece for the Lord God Almighty, that you will be a person who is 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 who identifies with the Lord God Almighty and who does the will of God because you know the will of God for your life. Desire more today. Desire more. Desire not just the, the ordinary. Desire the extraordinary. The Lord, the, 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 the scripture, of there's, uh, the Bible reminds us that blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be filled. I declare in Jesus' name that you will be filled today. You'll be filled to overflowing. You'll be filled to running over. You'll be filled in ways like never before in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that it is well with you. I declare peace into your hearts, peace into your homes. I declare a joy that overflows, a joy that never ends, an everlasting joy into your lives. I declare a love, a, the love, just like the love that the Lord shone upon us, just like the love that the, 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 the Lord God Almighty has shone upon us, that same love, I declare it into your lives right now in Jesus' name. And if you haven't received the Lord as your Lord and Savior, you don't even know him. You're like, what is she even talking about? Who is this person anyway? And what is she on about? The Lord has sent me to you for such a time as this. The Lord has sent me to you for such a time as this. And it's not too late to accept him and to accept the mantle upon your life. You can just close your eyes and say a quick prayer. Lord, I've done wrong. Lord, I come to you to repent. I come to you to admit that I can't do it by myself. Lord, there's so many things overwhelming me, but I know that 
you are the open you are the key to all doors that seem locked in my life and you can do all things lord i accept you into my life come and rule and run my life for me and help me that i may do your will in and out of season in jesus name i declare it as well with you on every side and in every way go and be blessed go and be a light and do what the lord says to do in jesus name amen <music>